I had the idea for this carving in 2007. I drew the design and quickly carved the first half of the base. I was gifted a piece of butternut from my carving mentor and then the project sat dormant for nine years. When I finally picked it back up, I finished the base and attached a piece of glass. I drilled a hole in the bottom half of the base, allowing me to glue in a threaded insert. The glass was then bolted to the bottom half of the base using a neoprene washer. I drilled a hole in the upper half to accommodate the head of the bolt and then epoxied it in place. I found an image of a fish that I liked and traced the outline. I drew the top view freehand and after this was bandsawed, I laid the template over it and bandsawed the other view. The process of carving started by roughly shaping the blank and sanding it smooth. I enlisted a little help in this process. After I achieved the rough shape of the body, I started to add details around the mouth and gills. This was done with a knife and many small gouges. After what seemed like an eternity of sanding, it was ready for my favorite part. I applied several coats of Watco Danish oil finish. This led into the most terrifying part of the process, where I cut a jig to fit the fish, hot glued it in place, and cut it in half on a chop saw. After I'd cut it in half, I recessed two large holes in each half of the fish and glued and screwed a magnet in each half. This allowed the fish to be attached to the glass without any fasteners. I chose to carve some of the fins separately and carved a tenon on the end of them so they could be attached by drilling a small hole and inserting them into the carved fish. With the fins attached, a process that started nine years ago was finally complete.